So I'm not sure if you guys are anticipating a ban list to come anytime soon. Honestly, I think it's going to come in January of 2024. And I think a brand new ban list in a brand new year just feels very refreshing. And I think I've also put together the perfect January 2024 ban list that essentially hits all the meta decks, slows down the consistency, might not necessarily kill them, but it's going to bring up the playability of a lot of rogue decks, which I think is just always going to be very fun to include in a format. So let me show you guys what I've put together. And I think it is the perfect January 2024 ban list. All right, so you guys are gonna see that there is a lot of cards here that we're gonna be talking about. I know my face cam kind of covers some of the cards, but we are going to talk about all of these cards and where they should be on the ban list. I'm gonna go from the banned to the unlimited section and everything in between and show you guys the perfect January 2024 ban list, at least in my opinion, what I think would shake up the game, make it still very interesting, but also have a lot of rogue decks or tier two decks become very competitive, right? So to start things off, in the ban section, we are going to be banning Red Dragon Archfiend King Collection. And the reason why I think this card needs to be banned is while in itself, not a lot of decks really make it, one deck that does make it very consistently is Centurion. And of course, Centurion is a deck that just came out. This deck is obviously not going to get hit in terms of its consistency, but I think any deck that can kind of put up a turn skip combo with essentially one card is not really the best thing for the format. And Centurion can do a lot of stuff outside of the Calamity lock. So for that reason, I don't think we actually need Calamity in the format. I think it can just become a little bit toxic. And that's why I think this card being banned doesn't hurt really a lot of decks it is kind of just one of those things that Centurion can't make it, that's all you need to worry about, right? Speaking of banned cards, Kelbeck and Agito, they need to go. We just cannot have these cards in the game. Tier Limits is literally still just a functioning deck because of these cards. I know all of the tier names are at one. I know Medora and the other one, I can't remember the name off the top, are at one right now. I know these are technically at one, but even still, Tier Limit is still a viable strategy and it's because of these cards. I think these cards are absolutely stupid. They just need to get out of the game. Both of them banned, get them out. Out of here and then lastly for the band section eradicator i think eradicator needs to be gone the fact that labyrinth can search this and they can just auto win a lot of games i mean we've seen it we've seen literally at a ycs top cut this card auto win games and this card auto winning games is not fun it's literally just like the calamity effect where while unlike calamity it's not turn skipping your opponent it essentially is let's be honest if you're calling spells against a deck that plays a lot of spells it's going to be a rough time right so erad i think needs to go the fact that labyrinth can always search it they can play it at one and they can search it is absolutely insane so it, it can't be limited right limited doesn't do anything it has to be banned and that's it for the banned section we don't want to ban too many cards in the format really you just want to ban these cards that are really kind of toxic so calamity as well as erad and then these two cards just need to go. I, I hate them. They just they just need to go, okay? And then we are moving on to the limited section, right? And the limited section, there's going to be a decent amount of cards here. So the first card I want to talk about is Purely Sleepy Memory. Technically, it could be any one of the other Purely cards. I think Purely just needs a little bit of a hit in consistency. The fact that this deck can put up kind of boards when they end on the big noir that's unaffected, can bounce cards, can, they can draw three on your turn or draw four on your turn. It's absolutely insane. The deck does need a consistency hit. I think Sleepy Memory is probably the best one to hit to put to one but it could be any of the other names as well but i think this card needs to go to one or the deck needs some sort of consistency i think this is just the best consistency hit for the deck speaking of consistency hits runic fountain needs to go to one now while runic in itself is not the most broken of decks it is a deck that you guys see paired with chimera and with other strategies as well and the thing is fountain is not a hard once per turn so when they hit it from three to two it didn't really do anything because people are always going to be able to loop fountains and i think that's kind of dumb so for that reason i think limiting it to one makes it a lot more fair and then also for consistency hit neo space connector now this card is a card that is a one card is sold it gets you into aqua dolphin and aqua dolphin gets to rip a card out of your opponent's hand it also gives you some hand knowledge which is absolutely insane and it's a card that all these infernoble and warrior decks want to play to get into their soul so hitting this to one i think is actually very beneficial because if they hit this card to one it makes it really awkward to play one connector and one aqua dolphin so i think hitting connector to one is just very fair i think it's the perfect number for it to be at you don't want to ban it i don't think it's ban worthy but hitting it to one will hit the consistency Another deck that I think really needs to get hit is Rescue Ace. And the best card to hit in Rescue Ace is Emergency. The fact that this is a quick play spell, the fact that this card essentially is a one card combo, I just this card needs to go. Rescue Ace as a deck is already consistent enough. On top of that, they're always going to be ending on four set, and then they're going to be able to use multiple emergencies. Absolutely insane. So I think one emergency is fair. It hits the consistency of the deck. It doesn't make the deck unplayable. If you guys see all of these hits that I've shown you guys so far, they're all 
hits that hit the consistency, but do not kill the deck per se. You can still pay purely. You can still play Runic. You can still play Infernoble, right? You can still play Rescue Ace. I just think it needs to hit a little bit on its consistency. So that's it for the limited section in terms of brand new cards getting limited that were unlimited. And I just think that that consistency needs to be hit. Now, lastly, something that I think Konami is going to do, while I personally am not a big fan of this, I have heard a lot of talks about it in the community and it does make a lot of sense. Prosperity. Prosperity, I think going to one makes a lot of sense. This card is absolutely busted. Literally any deck that can play it plays it. It's a three of and pretty much everything and it's just a consistency piece that gets you to pretty much any card that you need i know that's a little bit of an exaggeration but getting to dig six deep into your deck essentially is going to guarantee what you need and so getting prosperity to one i think hits consistency in a lot of decks even rogue decks as well so that's the thing where it's kind of like okay well the meta decks can't use it neither can the rogue decks and i think prosperity going to one is going to happen unfortunately i don't think necessarily it's the perfect hit but i think it makes sense like desires went to one and uh you know desires was at one for a long time it's now at two and i think prosperity going to one makes a lot of sense you could argue for it to be at two but i think it's going to go to one just on the initial ban list here right now that's it for cards that are unlimited and then getting on the ban list however i do have some cards coming off of the ban list the first card that we're going to be talking about here is magic specter unicorn we all know that magic specter is getting some insane new support in the new year and i think unicorn coming back to one is going to help push that product also it's a card that's like not absolutely busted anymore like i don't want to say it's been power crept per se but it's not one of those cards that we have no outs for we can't you know deal with there's a lot more things in the game right now that are a lot more troublesome than unicorn so i think this card coming back to one just makes a lot of sense the timing is perfect for it to come back to one and it's some pendulum support which is nice having pen being able to get some more support is always going to be a nice thing another card that i think is going to come back to one is zodiac dryden this card is back at i think three in the master duel now it's a cool card i mean it's not absolutely busted honestly when it came off the ban list the last time and then it went back on the ban list I didn't agree with it coming back on the ban list. I don't think this card is amazing anymore. It's a single pop. Every deck can put up a single pop or a negate or something like that nowadays. So I don't think Dryden going to one is actually going to break the meta in any way. Zodiac though does become playable. You have some cool Zodiac variants as well. So I think Dryden coming back to one, very fair and it makes a lot of sense. And then lastly, Harp Horror. Harp Horror needs to be back at one. Orcus is not a good deck i love the deck when it was meta it's not a good deck now harp horror coming back to one also best deals are a thing right harp horror bring it back to one and then one card i completely forgot about and i didn't notice it here is actually shavara i'm gonna include it right here this is the unchained card over here i, I don't know how i completely skipped that shavara needs to go to one okay unchained needs to get checked and i think this is the best way to check it hit this card to one it's absolutely busted the consistency with this card so being able to hit this to one makes the consistency a lot less it makes the deck rely on their spell cards a lot more which they didn't need to before so for that reason shavara needs to go to one i completely skipped this earlier but do you guys see how all of these cards are just consistency hits to the decks it doesn't make unchained unplayable doesn't make rescue ace unplayable it doesn't make purely unplayable but they are consistency hits to the deck and that's it for the limited section you guys can see it's quite the large limited section but i think limiting these cards makes a lot of sense right so i i, I don't know i think this is perfect i honestly think this is the perfect limited section now for semi-limited oh baby misc misc please come back to two the dino people, the dino, the dino players need support, bro. They need some help. Dino is not insane. Like it's not an insane deck anymore. Miss coming back to two is, is cool. Yes, don't get me wrong. I mean, Miss can hand is absolutely insane. You can dodge imperms, dodge hand traps, etc., etc. But bro, if you just ash the Misk in the grave, a lot of the times we're going to end our turn. So please, can we get Misk back? I think I like, bro, it's, it's literally the Orchid's effect. Getting Misk back to two is not going to break the deck at all. I think it's going to make the deck more playable. It's going to make the deck more fun gonna make it more popular it's not gonna make it absolutely broken so miss to two is something i really want and uh something that i really don't want to happen but i think it will and it makes a lot of sense is for fenrir to go to two now there was an argument for a long time i was thinking okay maybe we put fenrir at one maybe we would put it at two i don't think it makes sense for it to go to one yes you can argue panker tops is at one so fenrir being honestly just a better card should be at one as well i think though like Fenrir, I don't know, man. I just think this is a perfect card at two. It's a card that, yes, it searches itself in a lot of the decks that, you know, play Fenrir. That's not Kostra specifically. Kostra, of course, can search a lot of different cards. But for this card specifically, I think Fenrir being at two is... You know what? I'm going to be honest. There's no real logical answer here. It probably should be at one, but I want it to go to two. I don't want it to go to one. I want it to go to two, okay? There's, that's me. That's just my preference. I think, I think it's at two. Okay, cool. And lastly is the unlimited section. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Sprite starter needs to come back to three. No reason this card is at two, needs to come back to three. And then Spellbook of Judgment. This card's not doing anything. Came back, the deck still doesn't do anything. This deck is cool, still doesn't do anything. And then with the Runic, if Runic gets hit, if Fountain gets hit to one and Starter comes back to three, I think that makes a lot of sense. Right, like bro, this is perfect. 
You can't tell me this is not perfect. This is the perfect ban list right here. Look at this. It checks everything. It checks everything. It hits the meta while not killing the meta. It boosts a lot of rogue decks while not making them overly powerful. And it gives back cards that, you know, decks shouldn't have hit, to be honest with you. And it gets rid of problem cards. Calamity, Erad, these guys over here, we need to get rid of it. So guys, take a look at this. Just take a look at this right now. Screenshot it right now. This is the perfect Yu-Gi-Oh! January 2024 ban list, and it's going to make the game great again. I'm gonna be honest, I think the game's still pretty good right now, but this ban list right here, screenshot it. Konami, if you guys are watching this, perfect ban list right here. Copy and paste it, and we're good to go. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my take on the perfect January 2024 ban list. I think this ban list honestly hits everything the exact right amount. It hits Unchained, it hits Purely, it hits Infernoble just the right amount. And you even have hits to decks like Centurion without directly hitting the deck, which I think is perfect for these kind of ban lists. And I just think a brand new ban list in a brand new year is just what we need right now in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I think it's just gonna be perfect. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We are uploading every single day in the month of December, so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think should be on the next ban list, or if you guys just think my ban list is perfect, because honestly, I think it is. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, thank you. Peace.